Hi there, Tasha here from Red Pandas Digital. Thanks for your interest in HubSpot. In this short video, I'm gonna take you through a HubSpot marketing virtual tour. Before I do though, I thought I'd clarify on how the different HubSpot hubs all relate. First, you have your marketing hub, which connects all of your tools like landing page builder, email builder, workflows and automations, SEO tool, and of course, a social media scheduler. Then you have your sales hub, which is where your sales people will operate out of and followed by your service hub, where you can do things like help desk tickets and utilize feedback tools. I'll discuss HubSpot sales and services tools in a separate video. But one thing that's important to take note of is that all three of the tools are connected with one single login. They are all powered by the same CRM, or in other words, the same database. HubSpot also sells a CMS, which you can build an entire website of, just like you would a WordPress or Shopify. This is known as a CMS product and is a standalone product, which means you can buy it separate from the sales and marketing hubs. Going back to marketing, sales and service hub, you can see that I can easily navigate between the three tools within my portal. The power here is you now have a single customer view where your entire organization can see all of the interactions happening with this contact. When you first log into HubSpot, you will see a dashboard. Now the out of the box ones are pretty good, but we like to customize these for our clients to show them metrics that might be of more value to them. In this example, you can see contact a customer average days to close by channel, contacts total by life cycle stage, contacts by source, summary of the team's activity, landing page and email performance, and also one of my favorites for B2B, returning contacts. Earlier, I mentioned the HubSpot CRM and contact database underpins all of HubSpot's products. So let's go straight there. Here I can see my database and I can add and sort by any column I want and create filters. But the real power in contacts is lists and segmentation. So let's go there. Here I can create a list based on any contact property. For example, if I wanted to create a list of warm leads, lead status being potential future, in the Hornsby region, for a particular segment, my client sold to, for example, hotels and clubs, I could. And then I name the list and save it. Now, there's two types of lists in HubSpot. They're static and active. Active lists are dynamically populated. So if you create the criteria today, but weeks from now, a contact meets the filtering criteria, they will fall into that list. Next up is the conversations chat flows or bots. Here is where you can create either live chat where it's manned by your team, chat bots, or something in between, which we call lag chat. An example of lag chat could be you asking a series of qualifying questions and then either grab their details from your team to contact or notify your team once someone is qualified, then they can jump in and take over as a human. Let's move on to the email tool. This is one of HubSpot's most powerful tools. It's like having a version of MailChimp on steroids. Under marketing, then email, you'll see a list of all of the emails you have ever sent, drafted, or scheduled. You can easily create a new email by either cloning an old one, using a template, or starting from scratch. HubSpot also has a built-in social media tool, which you will find here. Now, using third-party tools like Hootsuite and Buffer, they're great, but they're not connected to your database. Once all of your social accounts are connected, not only can you schedule posts, but you'll be able to see sessions to your site from social, as well as new contact database growth from your posts. Next up are landing pages and blogs. So again, under the marketing tab, you'll see landing pages and blogs. These tools have very similar user experiences. Once you're in the tool, you can see a list of the pages you've already created or have in draft, and creating a new page is as easy as cloning an old one or clicking here. The landing page and blog builder are very similar to the email builder. With drag and drop functionalities, they're very user friendly. You could build anything that you can imagine. And our HubSpot certified coders are able to build stunning conversion focused landing pages. There's a lot you can do yourself and plenty out of the box templates. You also have access to lead capture tools like CTAs or calls to actions and forms. Over here is where you can create a CTA for an offer, then embed that CTA button on an external site. The forms tool is where you'll build your forms that you can then embed on your website, landing pages or even external pages. It's very easy to use and you can customize the contact properties or data fields that your organization requires. From the form builder tool, we can also add in autoresponders and internal notifications. Some of the other marketing tools include planning and strategy tools for SEO campaigns and projects. 
Once you've connected your Google Search Console to HubSpot, you can easily view the SEO recommendations directly out of your HubSpot portal. And on the Topics tab, you can work on creating your topic pillar pieces. Next up is marketing automation, where you can create powerful workflows to automate external emails, internal emails, tasks, and even SMSs. By the time we've started to build your HubSpot portal, we would have already workshopped and recommended the best practice workflows designed to engage prospects and move them towards making a purchase. We can create workflows for things like sending automated emails on behalf of your sales reps for returning visitors to your site. Finally, reports. Now, I've touched on some reports in, a, in the dashboard, but there are also a bunch of incredibly useful reports here. In this traffic report, I can see the source of leads and customers, and even drill down into a source further, for example, social media. All of your dashboards that either Red Pandas or you have created will also live here. And there you have it, a virtual demo on the HubSpot marketing tools. If you are interested in learning more about the sales features or how your sales reps can use some of the tools within HubSpot sales, make sure you check out my HubSpot sales features demo as well. For more information on how we can help you set up your HubSpot portal for success, get in contact today.